All right, fourth and fifth graders, day four of the 21 day fast. fast uh, excuse me, hey, really quick, got a special guest for you. Shadow, come here, buddy. Come here. This is my doggy, Shadow. Say hi, Shadow. Say hi. Look at the camera. Say hi. Ah, uh, close enough. Okay, so still coming to you guys from my house. It's Tuesday. Hope that your week is going well so far. Day four, we're jumping right in. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. So if you're here, you should have your Bible. If you don't, run and get it. And something to write on, something to write with. Okay, Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. Here we go. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in there. So don't copy the behavior and customs of this world. What does this have to do with fasting and praying? Well, how many uh, people that don't go to church would consider fasting from something that they enjoy a good idea, right? They, they probably wouldn't. But because we know and want to know Jesus more, we are giving up the things of this world for a time for 21 days, and we are saying, Jesus, I don't need this as much as I need you. And the goal, remember, is to get closer to Jesus. So don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, which might say, don't fast because it's going to be hard, right? Even if it's hard, it doesn't make it not right. So we want to do it, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Whoa, by changing the way that you think? Well, as we spend more time with God, and as we spend more time reading His Word and interacting with it, asking questions about things that we don't really understand, or things that we read but they don't make sense, as we spend more time doing that, it changes the way that we think. And God's Spirit, the Holy Spirit, prompts us to, to think the way that Jesus would think when we know him more. So by the end of this 21 days, we want God to change the way that we think to make us more like him. So here we go. The last thing, then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. So we know, you guys, that God's will for us, God's desire for each one of you and for me is good and pleasing and perfect because the God that we are praying to and serving and worshiping as we pray and fast is a good God and he cares so 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 deeply about each and every one of you all so that is what I'm leaving you guys with today I want to encourage you to do something and I'm gonna challenge you ready I'm gonna challenge you when this video is over I want you to go Ask your parents, your grandparents, whoever you're with right now, hey, is there any way that I can help you out? Maybe you're watching this in the middle of school and you have to wait till after school, but I want you guys to go and to ask how you can serve someone else because that's what Jesus came to do to us and that's the way that he would think is to think about how can I serve someone else? So a great way, a great place to start is with your parents. Hey, you guys are the coolest, the coolest, coolest. Love you all. I will be back with you tomorrow. So make sure you return with your Bible, something to write on and something to write with. See you then.